Welcome once again to this YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you a simple project tracking tool that can give us an update where each of the projects is. So to do that, we have a table here, which gives the activity, the progress of the project. There's the planning level, execution, analysis, and reporting. So each of these projects goes through those levels. If I deselect some of these, for project one, if I've completed planning, I come here and pick planning, execution, analysis, and I want you to watch what happens here when I click the last one. So when I click the last one, you can see this one here gets highlighted, meaning that it is completed. But for projects that are completed, they are highlighted and the line goes through here. So it is very dynamic. If um, nothing is done, you can see, you can see this progress here. It expands, expands, then complete, boom. That's what's happened. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And I'm gonna show you how to do this from scratch. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and let's jump into it right away. So here I have my project list. I'm gonna put my progress here. So let's see, the first thing we're gonna do, put here checkboxes and put checkboxes, I highlight the area where I want to put the checkboxes, go under insert, run down here, put checkboxes, and that one is done. So I want you to observe what happens to here when I click on the checkbox, you see the value is true. When I deselect, the value is false. That's what we're gonna be using in our computation. Now, the next thing, I'm gonna do is put spark lines here. So what you see here is what we call spark lines, okay? So let's put these spark lines right there. Now, I'm gonna use a formula and say spark lines brings up this. The first thing we need is the data. So what data do I need? I need to, the progress is going to show how far how much progress has been achieved. And that progress is gonna be got from the ticking of these checkboxes. If analysis is complete, then you tick analysis. And then the progress here will show one level. If there are two activities completed, it will show two. So because I'm using numbers to represent my progress, I'm gonna use, I need to count. I need to count how many are ticked. So I'm gonna use the count if function. The first thing it needs is a range. This is my range, okay, comma. Next one, I want to count. When do I want to count? When the value is true. When each of the checkboxes is tick, then the value is gonna be true and therefore the count is going to be made like so. So if you don't know how this one works, let me first remove this one spark line and I show you what happens. Now we get a zero. If I click one, if I click the next, this changes to two, click, then the maximum is four. If I did click, it reduces like so. So that those numbers is what is my data that I'm gonna use in the spark lines, okay? So having understood this, let's cut this out, go back to our spark line. Like so, the data is what I've shown you, comma. Now I have an options and in carry braces, that's where I'm gonna put the options. So the first option I'm gonna use is the chat type. What chat type do I want? So in double quotes, I'm gonna type chat type. Then I put, after that, I put a comma, then next, I'm gonna use a bar. So I type bar like that. So that is one of the characteristics of my spark line. Then if I'm going to the next, I need to use a semicolon. Very important to note that I use a semicolon. So the next one I want is to tell it the maximum value, which is max. And my maximum value is gonna be four. You saw when I, I did the count, when all of them are ticked, the count will be four. 
That one is very important to help it to appropriately do the bar, the spark line. Then after this, we go to the next property, semicolon again. And the next one I'm gonna use is a color. So and to use that color, you say color one in quotes, then comma, what color do I want? Now I've listed my colors here. So I want the color in this cell G2. So when I do that and hit enter, nothing is in there because I've not selected any of the cells here. If planning is completed for project one, there you go, you see my progress. If execution, there you go. Analysis, there you go. And there you go. Now this is the maximum. If I deselect, then the progress reduces. So all I have to do is copy this down and highlight this and use Control D to do that. So that let's see. Okay, that's working, working fine. Now my progress is working fine. Let's first develop the custom function that we're gonna use in conditional formatting. Remember, the custom function needs to return a true or false. When it is true, then the highlight will go on. And when it is false, then the highlight will go off. So let's think about what we want to do. So what to do is that when all these four checkboxes are checked, we need to highlight the cell right there and cross it out. So it means that we need to get a count of this. So, and to do that, we normally use the count if function. So I'm gonna say count if, okay, what are we counting? This one here. And on based on what condition, when the value is true, ensure you count that, so that it only counts those that are true. The next we need to say that count needs equal to four. Why four? Because there are four cell checks boxes here. We have one, two, three, four. So now there are only two that I hi are highlighted, I checked, that, that's why it returns false. But if I tick all the four, it is going to return true. So now when it returns true, I need the conditional formatting to come on, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we need to copy this function here, then come and highlight our cells that we want to apply the conditional formatting, go to format, then conditional formatting. Now it has selected the cells. What do we want to use? We want to use a custom function. We select custom function. It brings this input box, control V, I paste my function there. I'm sure it starts with an equal sign like so. Then next here, all I need to do, how do I want uh, the thing to be formatted? Strike through. And also you can change the color here to whatever color you want. Okay, you can change it to any color that you want. Then say done. So when you do that, you can see when all the four are ticked, it crosses them out. Let's check out for this one. There you go. So when you uncheck any of these and ensure that all the four have to be ticked. Even if I click the last one, but these two are not ticked, then it will not. But if I tick all of them, then it will cross out and change also the cross, uh, the spark line. So that is how you can develop a simple tracking, project tracking tool that can be used to visualize. Now, the other things that you can do, of course, you can also put a filter here so that you can say, okay, I filter by color, filter by green, then it will bring out only those that are completed. So you say, okay, we can filter out by white, then it brings those that are not completed. So you can also add on this filter, then you say filter none, then it brings everything. I hope this has been helpful. And if so, please like this video, 
And if you have not subscribed, please, and you find my video helpful, mm -hmm. please subscribe so that you don't miss out on any more videos like this one. Otherwise, thank you for watching and have a great day. Mm -hmm.